Hi, just a quick blab video. I just wanted to show you the difference between multimeter probes. You, they come in two basic uh, contact types. One is gold plated and the other is, well, I don't know what it is, some sort of nickel alloy uh, plating or something like that. They're the two different types. And I wanted to show you a practical example of how it makes a real difference to measurements in electronics, in more specifically uh, continuity uh, tests and and potentially um, other stuff in electronics. So let's have a look at it. I've got uh, some gold plated ones here. These are the uh, Bryman ones that I supply with my uh, BM235 uh, and these are gold plated type and let's have a look at the continuity test. Right? Super quick, but let me lay this down on the bench. And what I'll do here is I'll just, uh, I won't put any force on this. I'll just let the weight of the probe oh, hold it down. And you can see that it basically continually, if it doesn't move, uh, continually makes contact like that. So gold plating is excellent. Now, let me compare this with the famous Fluke TL75 probes, which are not gold plated. These ones have been around for decades. They're practically industry standard probes. And look, I'm touching those with a fair bit of force. And sometimes the continuity doesn't go off. It'll go really hard. Okay, and I put that down like that, the weight of the probe. It's they're probably the similar sort of weight. It's, it's not making, oh, uh, might. Depending on where you get it, if I get the little ridges in the tip, like that, but just on the contacts, you can see how poor that is compared to the uh, gold-plated Bryman ones. So let's try another set. These are um, uh, Keysight ones, but they're Agilent uh, branded. These are uh, 34138A. Okay, so good quality probes, but not gold-plated. They've got this, um, you know, silvery nickel alloy thing, whatever it is. Let's have a look. Okay, these ones are a bit better because the fluke ones are quite old. Maybe they've, uh, you know, tarnished a bit with time. That's the good thing about gold is it will not tarnish. Okay, it will not react with anything. So, but let's put it down and the weight of the probe barely, barely, look at that. See, it's, it's not great. I can touch it like that and not have a go off at all. Absolutely hopeless. Now, let's try these gold plated probe master ones. Arguably, some people say the best probes on the market. And uh, these are, you know, real expensive uh, probes, but gold plated, beautifully sharp. These are just, yeah, oh, sex on a stick these are. And of course, even lightly, I'm not putting any force on that at all, and they're touching. And of course, the weight of the probe, beautiful. Look at that. So there you go. I just thought I'd show you that practical difference between gold-plated probes and these whatever, you know, these uh, silver type uh, probe tests. There's a big difference for not only continuity measurement, but also... Um, when you're uh, probing things like that, these can, gold, can just make much better contact. So, yeah, next time you're in a shopping around for a multimeter, just consider the probes. Gold-plated ones are awesome and well worth any extra. Like, usually it's not much extra, but I would consider that a good electronics multimeter should have gold-plated probes, not only for fast continuity, um, but just for better contact resistance. I consider these general purpose um, silver ones to be more electrical ones, you know, designed to be shoved into contacts really hard and things like that. I don't like these for electronics use. So hope you found that interesting and consider gold plated probes next time. Hope you liked it. Found it interesting. Catch you next time.